Well, welcome to episode two about exciting spreadsheets. And this time we're going to focus on how spreadsheets can do some really neat calculations for us. And I know how much all of you love doing your 14 times tables. So I thought we'd show you how Texties can really save you a lot of bother here. I've added a spreadsheet and I've called it 14 times table calculator and three columns. In this first column, I start with one, and obviously I want to then um, go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. And here, of course, is, is my 14. But let's show you how Texty's spreadsheet, like any other spreadsheet, can save you bother right from the start. So instead of typing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so forth, I'm just going to type 1 there and put 2 here. And then left-click and highlight both those cells. Notice you've got this little white square here and the crosshairs appear in it when I hover over. Now look what happens when I drag that down all the way down here to 12. Okay, there. Hey, it's worked out. Well, you can see what it's done, can't you? It knows that you're counting up in ones, so as you drag down it just automatically inserts an, the, the uh, additional uh, digit into the right cells. That saved you a lot of bother. Now, in this case here, I simply want to copy 14 all the way down rather than type it. So, go back to my white square, left-click, and drag it all the way down the bottom. And that didn't take me very long at all. Now, in this cell, I've left this blank because this is where Spreadsheet is going to do some calculations for me. I want it to do um, the times table calculations for each of these rows. How is it going to do that? Well, first of all, just press the equal sign and up will come the formula thing and in this case the formula I want to use is multiply but what do I want to multiply? I want to multiply well let's just delete that I want to go to there I want to multiply cell A1 by cell B1 do you see that? I multiply the contents of A1 with the contents of B1 I haven't written 1 and 14 I simply said to spreadsheet please multiply whatever is in A1 with whatever is in um, B1 as well. And let's go and say fine to that and look, there we go. Press enter and you got the answer. Wasn't that cool? Now, in theory, I've got to go and do the same thing here. So let's do it one more time. Press equals. I click on A2 and I say times B2 and then there and press enter. Now this gets a bit tedious. Do I have to do this 12 times? Of course I don't. Let's click on that cell and let's just go and drag down all the way down the bottom and let's see what spreadsheet does for us. Wow, it's copied that formula all the way down that column. I really only had to do it once, didn't I? Can you see what it's done each time? It's gone and inserted the right formula for that particular row going up um, from A7 to A8 to A9. Really cool, and you got your times table calculator. Okay, let's see. I want to do the 16 times table, of course. So let's go up here and change that to 16. And let's change that to 16. And let's go and drag that all the way down. And look what's happened. It's done it immediately. There you go. Spreadsheets can save you a load of grief and a load of time. Wait for episode three.